In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to calculate the pH of a buffer solution with the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Question 1 reads, calculate the pH of a buffer solution that is 0.050 molar in benzoic acid and 0.150 molar in sodium benzoate. We've also been told that the acid dissociation constant for benzoic acid is right here. To do this problem, we'll need to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, and that's shown underneath. Notice that it is pH is equal to pKa, where pKa is the pH at which 50% of the substance is ionized, plus log of base over acid. Now we know that this molecule right here is the base. Think of the dissociation equation for this molecule. You would end up with sodium plus, along with the anion C7H5O2 minus. This anion acts as the conjugate base, given that it is derived from this precursor molecule. We have all the information we need to substitute into this formula. pH is equal to pKa, and that's negative log of the acid dissociation constant, 6.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5, plus log of the concentration of our base, 0 0.150 over the concentration of our acid, 0 0.050. We'll now substitute all of this into our calculator. Negative log of 6.5 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5. This first part is equal to 4.187. And given that this is two significant figures, we should have two digits after the decimal place. So after this 8, everything is insignificant but we won't round right now, we'll round at the very end. Plus, now the log of that expression, 0 0.150 divided by 0 0.050, and this gives us 0 0.4771. Given that this is two significant figures, we should stop writing after this second seven. Now when we add these up, we should have a number with two numbers after the decimal place. So the number on our screen plus 4.187 and we get 4.66. 4.66 is the pH of this buffer solution. Let's move on to question two. Calculate the pH of a buffer solution that is 0 0.250 molar in HCN, that's our acid, and 0 0.170 molar of KCN, that being our base. Once again, think of KCN dissociated, where we have potassium ions plus Cn minus. This is derived from HCN, and during the dissociation of an acid, it forms a conjugate base, being this. Obviously, it's more likely to attract protons than it is to donate, since it doesn't have any. Continuing on with the question, for HCN, the acid dissociation constant is 4.9 times 10 to the power of negative 10, and they were kind enough to give us the pKa as 9.31. So you can use this in the equation instead of using negative log Ka. Now in the question they're asking, use both the equilibrium approach and the Henderson-Hasselbalch approach. Now we've already done the equilibrium approach in the past, and it's starting to become cumbersome. So I'll put a link in the description below where you can see the equilibrium approach being used rather than the Hasselbalch approach. So we have pH is equal to our pKa, 9.31, plus log of our base, its concentration is 0 0.170 over 0 0.250. Let's use our calculator. We'll find out the log of 0 0.170, that's three significant figures, divided by another number that is three significant figures. We end up with negative 0.167. Anything after the 7 is insignificant. Plus 9.31. And we end up with 9.14. 9.14 is the pH of the solution. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the pH of a buffer solution with the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation.